is a former leader of the Labour Party. It's Jeremy Corbyn. Thank you. Thank you, Laura. And thank you, every one of you, for being here today. Every one of you has come out to show solidarity. Solidarity with those unions in dispute at the present time, defending their members and trying to get a decent pay rise. Solidarity with all those campaigns of disability rights, trying to make sure they are part of our campaign. Solidarity with those homeless campaigns that are here. Solidarity with those campaigns that are fighting for a decent living wage and social justice within our society. And also solidarity with all those that have sought a place of safety on our shores and have been so disgustingly treated by this government. We today here in Trafalgar Square are a voice for humanity and a voice for unity of all of those struggles. That is what makes us strong and that is what makes us different. We heard earlier at the start of the rally of the fantastic result that Barnett Unison had achieved by their action, by their solidarity action of making sure that one of their members did not lose their job. They won that dispute. All over the country there are many other disputes going on. Don't be afraid. Join in and support. Support TFL workers next Thursday when they're in dispute. But also those like the uh, Baker's Food and Allied Workers Union members at Samworths in Leicester who are campaigning for union recognition. Join with them. Join with all the others in strengthening our movement. Next week, a week after, the government is going to produce yet another budget. The last budget promised to borrow lots of money, to give lots of money to those that already had humongous amounts of money. The Prime Minister lasted a couple of weeks and the Chancellor even less than that. And we now have a new Prime Minister and a new Chancellor. I don't have high hopes of this budget coming up. What I suspect is it'll be another tax giveaway to the super rich. It'll be another pass by on the other side for all those that are avoiding tax and putting it into putting their money into tax havens. I suspect it will be another attack on local government and health and it won't do anything for the wages of those people that desperately need a wage rise. The cause of inflation is not wage rises. The cause of inflation is tax evasion, tax avoidance and overcharging by the energy companies and many others. They found money to bail out the energy companies and factor in a 100% rise in prices. That will only last until April. Goodness knows what happens after that. There is, however, an answer of doing things in a different way. You invest in people, you raise wages, you raise benefits, you stop the profiteering by the energy companies and take them into public ownership. And you do the same with the railway companies, with Royal Mail and those water companies that have been ripping us off for 30 years, polluting our rivers, destroying our natural environment, all on the altar of profits to distant hedge funds. That is the reality of what modern Britain is about. Now how do we get rid of them and how do we change it? The answer is here in this square. It is the unity of all of those campaigns and people that want to see a different, better country and one that works in solidarity with people around the world. To build that world of peace and justice, not of war. To build that world of unity, not of division. Last weekend, I had the great privilege of going to Brazil to observe the election. 
and I think we should, from here in London and Trafalgar Square in Britain, say congratulations to Lula and the coalition that won that election. And you know what? They didn't win that election by triangulation and appealing to the right-wing media. They won that election by the solidarity of the trade unions, the urban homeless, the landless people, the environmental campaigners. And as a result, President Lula narrowly won that election on a pledge, on a pledge of uh, a different approach to the environment, a green industrial revolution. It's in our hands. We can build the world we want. We can make the world a better place in global solidarity as well as in our own solidarity. Our media will always seek to disempower us and tell us we don't matter. Well, they've got another thing coming. We are very, very many, and they are very, very few. Thank you very much. Thank you so